Hey guys, Tyler here. Um, going to do that pickup video that I've been promising for a while now. Uh, I've been busy since Christmas. Um, I've got about 25 pickups here. Should be 26, but for some reason, uh, the Finding Nemo Blu ray combo pack that I bought off of eBay hasn't shown up yet. It was supposed to be here last week. So I'm going to be contacting USPS and finding out what's up with that because I know it's been shipped. So I'm um, not sure what's going on with that. But anyway. Um, I've got some Amazon pickups here, a Best Buy package that I got with a gift card, um, some new releases, and a Disney Movie Club uh, introduction package that came yesterday. So I guess I'll get straight to it. Um, the first uh, was an Amazon pickup. I actually ordered this before Christmas. It got here shortly thereafter. Uh, it was like 8 bucks. It's Bad Santa, the unrated and director's cut version. It has both versions on the same... Uh, on the same disc. Um, this is one of my favorite movies, one of the funniest movies I've ever seen. Billy Bob Thornton is hilarious, and it has an uncredited rewrite by the Coen brothers. Probably explains why it's so awesome. Okay, and the next few are from a Best Buy package that I spent. I got a $25 gift card um, for Christmas, so uh, I ordered these online, and they came Oh, pretty quickly, actually. It was about two days, I think. So I got The Lookout with Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Josh Daniels. I've never seen, or not Josh, Josh Daniels, Jeff Daniels. I've never seen this movie, um, but it was like four bucks. And I needed something to fill out the rest of my gift card. And as far as blind buys go, um, you could do a lot worse than Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Still haven't given this a watch yet, though. Um, I plan to soon-ish, maybe. I've got a lot of movies to watch. Next is The New World has Christian Bale, Colin Farrell, Christopher Plummer. Uh, this is a Terrence Malick film. I haven't seen this one yet. Um, I actually just watched The Thin Red Line the other night for the first time, and it was mind-blowing, of course. So I'm really, really excited to watch this. Um, this is probably his least famous movie, um, but I doubt it's going to be any less amazing than any of his others. And then this is one that I've been wanting to get for a long, long time. Um, most of you guys know I'm a huge Scorsese fan, and I've been looking to get this one. It's uh, Taxi Driver, the Blu-ray. And it, uh, the, let me tell you, the restoration on this is one of the best, actually probably the best res restoration I've ever seen. It's a 4K restoration overseen by Scorsese. And um, yeah, it's Criterion quality. So uh, if you ever get a chance, uh, it's $9.99 at Best Buy, um, definitely pick that up. If you do the upgrade and save, if you have it on DVD, it'll be $5 after the coupon. You can't get any better than that. It's amazing, 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 amazing. One of my favorite movies. These next few I got during um, the Half Price Books 20% off sale. Actually, the next five, but they were two different times, so I'll break them up. Um, these three, I actually just went in after work one day and picked them up at my local uh, HPB. This is Insomnia, Christopher Nolan. And since I picked this up, I only need uh, the Prestige to complete my Christopher Nolan Blu-ray collection. So I'm just pretty excited about that. Um, I'll probably end up picking that up here in the next week or two off Amazon because I can't seem to find it in the wild anywhere. I checked like four places the other night while I was out. Um, half price books, buybacks, uh, Best Buy, and Walmart, and none of them had it. So I'm going to have to order it off of Amazon, I think. Um, I was trying to prevent that, but what are you going to do? Next is Million Dollar Baby, by uh, directed by Clint Eastwood. has Hilary Swank and Morgan Freeman. Um, I'm pretty sure this one, Best Picture, yep, and Best Director. This is one of Eastwood's two Best Directors. I've never seen this, um, but Eastwood is... One of my t top ten directors, so I'm pretty excited for it. And then, speaking of Eastwood and Best Director, I got Unforgiven, his other Oscar-winning film. And, of course, um, this is one of the best neo-westerns out there. Probably the best. I've never seen this one either, so I'm definitely looking forward to giving that one a shot. And then, these two um, were from Half Price Books when I went with Cage Candy. We went to Half Price Books over by OSU's campus, and then we went to go see Django Unchained. And I picked these up for 20% off also. Uh, it's, the first one is the Criterion Blu-ray of Amacord. Uh, this is uh, a Fellini film. 
Ah, my screensaver just came on. Give me a one second here. Let me turn caffeine on here. And um, I, I started watching this the other night, but I was really tired. And I ended up falling asleep. But from what I saw, I saw a lot of influence on West Wes Anderson um, in this film. A lot of things from Moonrise Kingdom were copied directly from this film, which kind of surprised me. I didn't expect to see that. Um, and I was pretty excited to get this for 20% off of 1999. Um, it's my first foreign film, so I guess I'm officially a film snob now. Uh, and then I also got Superman Back Batman Apocalypse, just because it was a DC animated universe movie, and um, it was $6.99 with 20% off of that. So it ended up being really cheap. It only has the Blu-ray in it, even though it's a Blu-ray DVD digital copy combo. Um, but that's okay. Okay, and let's see here. These next two I picked up at Walmart, um, just on a spur of the moment thing. I wanted to go. It was the day after uh, this first one came out, and I wanted to grab it. It was a uh, Looper with Bruce Willis and Joseph Gordon-Levitt. I saw this when it came out in theaters. Um, and was pretty amazed by it. The more I thought about it, the more I realized there's a lot of things wrong with it. But it's still a really good movie. Uh, really original, at least. Um, which is more you can say about most movies out there these days. So, um, yeah, definitely enjoyable. I haven't watched it again since I got it on Blu-ray yet, but I look forward to doing so. I have a feeling it's going to be like Inception or... The Prestige, where you, the more you watch it, the more you pick up. And then I also grabbed this one out of the 788 bin. I hadn't planned on getting anything else, but then I saw this one sticking up, and it was Destiny. Because it's um, Shutter Island, and it's one of the Scorsese's that I didn't have on Blu-ray yet. I've had it on Blu DVD, didn't have it on Blu-ray. So I had to pick it up. I've had it on DVD for like two years. I got it Black Friday a couple years ago, and I've still never seen it. Um, but now I have it on Blu-ray to sit on my shelf. Um, I'll just get around to seeing it one day, but I have a ton of Scorsese that I got that I haven't gotten a chance to see yet. Well, actually not, really. I think the only one, well, the only one I haven't seen is in here. But still, um, not on the top of my priority list for Scorsese, but I'm still pretty excited to watch it. And then this one was a random act of DVD, not from Reddit, but from a family member. Um, they just uh, kind of sprung it on me one day, and I'm super glad they did. It's Brave. And um, definitely, probably Pixar's weakest film that I've seen. I haven't seen, actually definitely the weakest one that I've seen. I haven't seen Cars 2 yet, so I can't really compare it to that. But as far as uh, the story goes, it doesn't live up to Pixar standards. It's still a beautiful film, though, especially on Blu-ray on a 1080p TV. Uh, it's absolutely gorgeous. And it's still an enjoyable movie, even though it's not... Typical Pixar. And then these next uh, few were from Best Buy. Um, I went to get another new release. And I wanted to get caught up on my new releases. Um, oh, that reminds me. I have a story to tell too. But anyway, um, I wanted to get Premium Rush. But they still wanted $25 for it on Blu-ray. And that is crazy. That's too much. So I ended up getting one new release and two others. Um, one second. Uh, the first is another Scorsese film, Casino, and I was actually wrong, I have two Scorsese's in here that I haven't seen, because I forgot about this one, um, so yeah, I was pretty excited to get this, it was on sale for $9.99, had to pick it up, because I saw it, and it was on sale, and it's Scorsese, and this one is another Scorsese film, but this one I have, um, I had before, it's The Departed Steelbook, also on sale for $9.99, which is an irresistible offer. I have the uh, the other the regular Blu-ray release on this too, which is now up for trade or sale. Um, had to pick this up. I'm a Scorsese junkie, I can admit it. But uh, there's worse things to be addicted to. And then this is the new release that I picked up, um, Lawless, which is uh, it has a really really great cast: Tom Hardy, Gary Oldman, um, Guy Pearce. Uh, Jessica Chastain and even Shia LaBeouf is not that bad in this movie. Um, definitely the only it's the only movie I've ever seen that I didn't hate him in. So that's saying something. Um, pretty good movie. Uh, I thought it was a great movie that should have been an instant classic, um, but the script kept it down a little bit. But what are you gonna do? 
Okay, in the story, uh, when I went to Best Buy, I was looking around in the Blu-rays, just looking at what was on sale, and I saw a sign that said, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas Blu-ray on sale for $9.99. So I looked on the shelf, and the only Blu-ray that was there for Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas was the Criterion, which is normally $29.99. So I thought, there's no way that that Criterion was on sale for $9.99. But I grabbed it, and I took it up to the cash register, and um, the cashier... Uh, she rang it up and it rang up at twenty nine ninety nine. I said, "There's a sign over there. It says Fear and Loathing Blu-ray is on sale for nine ninety nine. It's the only one there." So she went and she looked on the internet and it ended up being the standard release, which they didn't have. They were out of stock. That was supposed to be nine ninety nine. So um, if I had been more persistent and not been the shy person that I am, I probably could have gotten it from a manager for $9.99, because technically, it was the only Blu-ray on the shelf, and the sign said $9.99, but I didn't push the issue, um, because that's just how I am, um, so I kind of feel like I missed out on that, I could have gotten a Criterion for $9.99, but I didn't, so there's my story. Okay, this next one is from when I went to Half Price Books in Beaver Creek, I was looking for The Prestige, and I ended up finding this. Um, it's Smart and Sheen in The Way. This movie was directed and uh, written by Emilio Estevez. And I saw it on HBO one day. And this is a fantastic movie. A lot of people have never heard of it. If you ever have the chance to see this movie, I think it's on Netflix. I think TFK said it was on Netflix. You need to see this movie. It's so good. I found it for $9.99, um, sealed and wrapped still at Half Price Books, which I thought was a pretty good deal. Um... Saved about five bucks off the Amazon price. So I'm really excited to have that in my collection and watch it again. Um, I was thinking maybe we could do an impromptu in the chat room. Uh, TFK said he really wanted to see it, and it's on Netflix, so maybe we'll do that someday. I don't know. Excuse me. And then this one came in the mail um, from Amazon. I ordered it a long time ago, but it was one of those usually ships within 9 to 11 days deals. It was uh, $4.99 on Amazon when I bought it. I don't know how much it is now. Uh, it's another Scorsese, Mean Streets. I've actually never seen this one. I had never had it on DVD, and I'm pretty excited to see it. Uh, Robert De Niro and Harvey Keitel. Uh, yeah, I'm really excited to see this one. And it has a commentary from uh, Scorsese on it as a bonus. So uh, I always love the ones that have Scorsese's commentary on them. And then these next ones are from the DMC package that I got. Um, the introductory offer, which was five Blu-rays for one dollar, and then the sixth one was fourteen ninety-nine, and then the seventh one was seven ninety-nine. So I ended up getting seven DVDs for twenty-one dollars um, for joining the Disney Movie Club, um, and they're all Pixar's. So I'm pretty excited about this. Uh, the first one is Cars. Had this one on DVD, never got it on Blu-ray, and now I have it on Blu-ray. Probably my um, second least favorite Pixar that I've seen, because again, I haven't seen Cars 2, but behind Brave, this is probably my second least favorite. Um, but it's still a decent movie, and it helps fill out my collection, which is always good. And I'm not going to open the rest of them, because they're all pretty much the same, except for this one is a four disc, but it's still the same. Um, The Incredibles which I amazingly never had on DVD. Um, this is one of my favorite Pixar movies. I love, 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 love this movie. Um, so I'm glad I got that. Uh, this one is maybe the one I'm most excited for. It's the Pixar short film collection, um, volume one. And I'm pretty excited because it has all the old, uh, old school Pixar shorts on it, the ones that made them kind of famous before Toy Story, like um, The Adventures of Andre and Wally B and Luxo Jr., and Tin Toy. Uh, so yeah, there's that. And then I've got Toy Story. Toy Story 2. And Toy Story 3 on DVD or on Blu-ray, which I'm replacing from their DVDs. And then I've got Wally on Blu-ray, which I'm also replacing the DVD of. And um, so now the only Pixar's that I don't have are Finding Nemo, which, I like I said, I, I bought it off of eBay, and it should be here by now. should have been here a long time ago. I don't know why it's not here. I'm going to have to figure out what's going on with that. Hopefully I get it soon, because I was charged for it, and I never got it. And um, Monsters, Inc., I don't have either. I'm going to be getting that. I'm going to be fulfilling one of my DMC commitments with that next month. And then I also need Pixar Short Films Volume 2, of course, 
which I might use another one of my commitments for. And then this one came today. Um, TFK told me about this the other day. It was five, uh, four ninety nine on Amazon, just like Mean Streets. Um, it's Cool Hand Luke with Paul Newman. And I've never seen this movie either, but of course everybody knows what we've got here is failure to communicate. So I'm um, pretty excited to watch this one. Um, classic film, obviously, and cheap. So yeah, there's my pickups um, since Christmas. Um, 25 of them. Hopefully I'll get Finding Nemo in soon. Um, I can't promise when the next pickup video is because I'm, I'm going to be moving in the next week or so. And I'm going to be hitting a real slow period for the pickups because I'm going to be spending money on other things like utilities and food and rent. So, um, yeah, it's going to be a bit of a bummer, but I stocked up while I could. So, yeah, that's those, and I will catch you guys later.